Hey guys, Michael here. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. Out here sort of piddling around in the barn right now. I wish you'd look at this. That is bright sunshine for a change out here. It's uh, a little bit cool with some breeze blowing. It's got making it a little bit cool, but um, it is not near like it has been here lately. So um, I'm gonna get out here and work on a few projects. I'm going to plant some peppers. Uh, first seeds I'm gonna start this year. Uh, this is the uh, first weekend of March, and um, so I'm going to go ahead and plant some peppers and get those going. And first, I'm going to walk out here and uh, take some scratch grain to the, to the chickens and show you how they're doing. So I'd mentioned earlier that my chicken coop, it was a muddy mess. Um, it was just, it, it was just saturated with water. The whole yard was saturated. I mean, you couldn't walk anywhere in this yard and not be mucking up and the chickens were no difference um so i got out here wednesday evening late or no thursday evening late and look and they know i'm holding their scratch grain um and i put some pine shavings down and that has really helped things out here in the coop um it's dried it up they're still right here where they're walking through was probably the wettest spot uh, you could see, maybe you can see down here, my footprints where I was just bogging down in the mud myself. But uh, anyway, I got those wood chips put down. That really helped dry things up out here. And uh, they're looking a whole lot better. They're still a little bit muddy. But uh, I know they'll, they'll get there sooner or later. But uh, everybody needs a little treat. Chickens, it's hen scratch. So I'm going to get out here and get a few things ready. And I'm gonna come back in a minute and we're gonna do some seed starting. I cannot wait, so I'll be right back. So, I uh, got me two 12 cell trays. Uh, these are from the 24 cell tray kit from Hoss. Uh, I got those filled up with some peat moss. I had some perlite, but I think I, maybe I still have some over here. I'm gonna sprinkle some of that in there too, but um, I got those filled up. I need to get my pepper seeds. I got to bring them right here with me. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back out here, and um, there's nothing magical with these seed start videos other than just it's what we're doing, you know? Um, there's no real special trick to this stuff. And there's times that I struggle with seed starting, just like everybody else does. There's no magic trick to it, but uh, I encourage you, go start some seeds. If they work, they work. If not, go for and buy you some plants. But I'm gonna try to start some seeds this year. Just like I did last year, I had pretty good success with it. We're gonna do it again this year. Um, if you watched any of my What Am I Planning On Planting videos, you'll know that I've got four peppers. Uh, I, I thought about doing a fifth, um, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that fifth one right now or not, just with everything I've got going on. So, um, but I am going to plant, get them out here. So in my first tray here, and I'm gonna mark these, I'll show you how I'm gonna do that here in just a minute. But um, I'm gonna plant King Arthur bell pepper. So I got bell pepper and I got banana pepper. So I'm gonna plant those in the same tray. Now, from what I've seen with pepper, the hotter peppers take a little bit longer to germinate. Um, peppers take a while anyway. They take a week or more. Um, 
you know, if you're planting them with other things, you, you're going to see well, everything else jumped up. My peppers hadn't done anything. What's going on? Peppers just can take a little bit longer. And I've also seen that the harder the pepper, the longer it takes to germinate as well. At least the best been in my experience. So here in this tray, I want to plant my banana pepper and my bell pepper all in one tray because they should germinate by the same time. At least that's my, um, that's my experiment this year. We'll see what happens. But um, so here, I'm going to plant six banana peppers. I'm gonna plant six bell peppers here in this 12 cell tray. And I'll have some seeds left over for next year, maybe. There we go. I think even with my Arkansas math, that is six seeds. And I'm not, you know, if I get a couple out of each, that's fine. I'm not I'm not gonna do multiple seeds per cell on these. I'm not, not worried about it. Um, just me personally, um, you know, if trying to do this for money you may you're going to want to plant more but i'm just planting a few for me to use here around the garden so uh here goes my six banana peppers i almost got those sort of dabbed in there in the, in the seed starting mix and then i'm going to put these bell peppers in as well and again i'm going to do six of those Again, I think that's six. <laughs> Let's see what happens. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I had seven. There we go. All right, one extra. I'm gonna put it back in the envelope. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I've got two more. I'm gonna plant this other tray over here. I've got some cinder jalapenos and I've got these roulette heatless habaneros I'm gonna plant. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm not gonna bore y'all with that. I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, so I got my peppers, pepper seeds put in each tray and I uh, got those all covered up. Nothing, nothing big secret there. Just covered them up real lightly. And um, one of the problems I've had with seed starting is a lot of times I'll forget what I plant and where. So, um, and I've tried different ways of marking. So this year, I'll show you what I'm doing. You know, like the, these hall skits, they come with these little wooden stakes, and these are great. You know, I've used these um, with good success, but what, I, what I've had happen with these is maybe I'll take them out to water or something like that and not get them put back in right, or, you know, whatever. Or in this case, in these peppers, I'm only putting the humidity dome on these trays, and so the, the humidity dome won't fit with these wooden stakes there. I could cut them off, I guess, but that's not what I want to do. So what I tried, what I'm trying this year, I'll let you know how it works. I'll just put me some duct tape on each end of the tray and uh, see if I can show you that one there we go and uh, so on each end so one and two so I know uh, one and two is uh, I got banana peppers and my bell peppers one and two and then uh, I've got here three four uh, for my habaneros I got those on the other side habanero and my um, jalapenos so I got those marked like that We'll um, get those put on the lights here in just a moment. Now, seed start. You've seen my setup, but there's nothing real fancy. All right, there's some really great seed starting lights out there, some kits, things that you can get. Whole season's got one now. But just get you some, make sure you have sufficient light. If you think you've got enough light, maybe get a little bit more. I'm just, that's my hint. That's my tip. Uh, and heat, bottom heat really helps, especially with something like peppers or tomatoes even. Uh, that will help you as well. But just make sure you have plenty of light. Um, and get out there and try to start you some seeds. Again, these trays, they're real nice to have, but if you don't have the trays, start some seeds and some solo cups. You can go to any store in your town, I promise you, uh, a Walmart, a Lowe's, a Home Depot, a Atwoods, a Tractor Supply, whatever you got, and get you some seed starting mix and some seeds and try to start you some seeds. Now, I love, I love Hall's products and I love their seeds can't recommend them high enough highly enough but if that's not what you want to do this year you just want to try something go try it just try it and see what happens I promise you you'll be surprised at what you can get accomplished if you just give it a shot so anyway i'm gonna close this video out i'm gonna get these seeds put on the light and i'll give you some updates here in the next week or two as how they are doing and i hope to be getting some tomatoes in the, in the soil here pretty soon as well and seed starting mix so i'll be sharing that with you as well i appreciate you guys tagging along on this video drop me a comment if you stop by and i'll catch you on the next video Good